Hey there, Libra. What's up? What's good? What's happening? Welcome in. Welcome back. This is going to be a general message. So take what fits and leave what doesn't. If none of this hits home for you, just try a different message. I'm going to start with the moon deck just to get a couple overall cards for you. And then I'm going to do a full Celtic cross spread with the naked heart tarot. So let's see what we got for Libra. Please and thank you. I have chills everywhere. Woo! Especially like all up on the side of my hair. Like, oh my gosh. I don't usually get chills like that anymore. So Libra, maybe you've got a lot of paranormal experiences taking place right now. A lot of visitors. Your house might be very busy, very loud, very active. Okay, I feel like a lot of this is just happy, healthy visitors. I don't think anything nasty or negative is taking place. Um, somebody here, though, does need to be careful because there is a love interest who is astral projecting to literally um, be a little bit sexy with you. Um, be careful. Keep your spiritual protection up. I don't necessarily think this is somebody that would have asked your permission. They just went ahead and did it. Um, imagine a protective bubble around your home. It's late at night when this person tries to do this. Um, I feel like 7, 8 p.m., wherever you are, 7, 8 p.m. your time is when this happens. Um, until about 9 or 10 p.m. This person really does try to come and visit you. If you have a protection bubble around your house, they won't be able to get in. You just have to imagine it, okay? It, it's not It's not complicated. I promise you it's not complicated. Um, but the reason it's very active is because your energy is off the charts right now. And there's a lot of spirits that are drawn to your level of energy Therefore, you guys are all like feeding off of each other right now. And there's just, it's very active. It's mostly ancestors. Um, it's mostly ancestors. And some of your ancestors do not play about you. Mm -mm. They're actually ready. They're waiting for you to be like, please protect me and don't let this person in. They are ready to go to war for you. It's not going to be much of a fight. It's going to be quick because they're strong. Um, and you did not give permission for this person to astral project into your home and be fucking weird, cutesy, close. It feels um, very intrusive. I don't like it. I am courageous, steady, and strong. I love that this came out right now because it just speaks to how powerful the energy is around you right now. And by standing your, your ground, by creating these boundaries, whether people want to respect them or not, they're going to have to. Okay? Very powerful. Very powerful. There's a reason people want to be around you. Um, but there's also a level of what's acceptable and what's not. And that needs to be respected. Sometimes we just have to say it out loud. Um, and this is definitely one of those times. Just say it out loud. If I did not personally invite you into my sacred space, fuck out. Right now. Period. Current energy, five of wands. Mm-hmm. So this is somebody that you're in conflict with right now, Libra. You don't want them around. Uh, your incoming energy, interesting. King of Swords, Queen of Pentacles. This isn't a match. But you see what's going on and you feel like you need to protect yourself a bit. You do. And you can without a problem. I really, I it, it's just a matter of you didn't realize this was something you needed to do. And now you know, so you're doing it. Okay. Man or woman. Man or woman. Interesting. What's in the foundation for Libra? The innocence of cups and the sky father. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, this is your masculine um, being gentle but firm. Gentle but firm. That seems to be a big theme here um, in this reading. Yeah. Recent past. 
this is all the kings in one, but the uh, king of swords is the one that's being highlighted here. This is also you putting up your spiritual boundaries and all of a sudden you're hearing about somebody's interested in you. Hmm. Do they now have to do it the right way because they couldn't do it the inappropriate spiritual way? You know who this person is. This is not a big surprise. You actually kind of expected this type of behavior out of this person, but at the same time, we're very hopeful that they would be more respectful to you than this. Um, somebody's about to get blocked. And they have no one but themselves to blame. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Moving to pentacles, stopping it dead in its tracks. <laughs> Let's come to a screeching halt with this one. There is a lot of people in this reading, but like I said, you got a lot of company. You have a lot of company around. Uh, what's in the near future? Very active, very busy. Some new contracts, new agreements, new boundaries. I'm also getting your finding. Oh, this is cool. Somebody's going to uh, randomly find money. No one lost the money. It's just randomly placed on your path for you. You don't have to turn it in. Um, unless it's a wallet, of course, return that. But it, it's not a wallet. It's just like a wad of cash in one of those metal clips or a wad of cash in a bank envelope. Um, it's cash. Cash money. Somebody's finding cash money. Be very careful though. Make sure there's no like powdery substance on it. Um, if it's like under your windshield wipers, ladies, drive somewhere else before you, you take it out of the windshield. Uh, it could be a setup. I just really don't want anybody being baited like that. Um, but somebody is gonna find some random cash laying around in your pant pocket while you're doing laundry. I don't know. What is the blockage for Libra here? What's the blockage? I'm hearing Taurus. Interesting. Do I even have Taurus energy out here? I don't even have Taurus out here. Yes, I do. Aries, Taurus, Aquarius, Capricorn, Pisces, Pisces, Virgo. Innocence of Pentacles, Gemini, the Lovers, Seven of Pentacles. It's family. There's an immature family member here who acts like your best fucking friend. Block them. That's okay. This person is sending you evil eye. You're jealous. They're upset that you have something that they don't or that they want. Um, I'm also getting that this person collects things. They collect not not like you go to the beach and collect shells or cool looking rocks no this person collects like people they collect friends they collect like it's fucking weird okay something about they like to collect certain stories what the fuck sorry this is weird. I'm not sure what I'm reading. This person's weird. Um, you need to not trust them. How's the universe viewing you? Because they're trying, it's a person that's trying to block you. <sighs> Either this is someone that's in your family or this is somebody that was trying to create a family with you and there's still a problem. I don't even think you have contact with this person for most of you. You may have gone no contact with this individual. There's still a problem, though. Um, there's new boundaries you need to speak into existence. How about this? No weapon forged against me shall prosper. Physical, spiritual, emotional, I don't give a fuck. It won't reach me. It won't touch me. It will not prevail. Period. End of story. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. No loopholes. No nothing. There's no cracks in this foundation. It's solid. Next. Hmm. How the universe is viewing you. Seven of Cups. There's things that you're unaware of, but you are becoming aware of them. I'm really getting 
Okay, and this makes sense because the weather, I live in Michigan, and um, we've been having these weird storms. You can tell a storm is coming in because it just all of a sudden drops like 10, 15 degrees. Um, so you can feel it before you see it, right? And that's really what I'm getting here. Like this giraffe is very exposed. They're going to feel changes in their environment before they see the changes in their environment. Okay, so you might be feeling a little bit exposed. You might be feeling a little bit vulnerable spiritually. Um, but your feeling, your intuition is picking up on things before they play out. So above all else, trust your intuition because it is extremely accurate at this time. Also your dreams, okay? Seven of Cups is very big about dreams. Pay attention. Your dreams are telling you who is wishing you well who is not wishing you well who is going to set you up who's throwing you in a den of wolves or lions or snakes a pit of snakes right because it's never a den of snakes but you catch my drift pay attention to your dreams people's true colors true intentions true emotions and feelings towards you are coming out in your dreams I actually used to have these dreams about um, two specific women in my family. And I remember thinking, oh, the one? absolutely, fucking lootly I can believe that. But the other one? Ain't no way. Come to find out these bitches were in cahoots the whole time. Trust your dreams. Trust them. All right. What is the goal? Goal for Libra with all of this. You know, and it's, it's wild because what I'm basically getting here, Libra, there are people lying to your face, but energy don't lie. People lie, energy don't. Judgment. Call them out. Call them out. Look, Ace of Wands in the reverse. That means stop fucking around with some people. Stop giving them access to you. Stop answering their phone calls. Stop inviting them for the birthday parties and memorial days and get togethers and stop. No action is necessary don't take any more actions don't allow them to take any more actions we're not traveling to each other we're not making plans it's a fucking no my guy it's a no okay final judgment final decision no more we're done here okay this is also that person that was trying to come towards you sexually that's going to be a hard no protect yourself Boundaries. I can't. I cannot with the amount of boundaries are needed. <laughs> That's your message. Boundaries are needed. I'm just listing all these different examples of what types of boundaries. Yeah, you got devils. You got demons. You've got nasty intention. What? No, I'm sorry. People with nasty intentions towards you. Again, that evil eye energy. It's going to be a hard no. No. I can't even believe that. Yeah, in the future, what these people are planning is to hurt you, to break your plans, to ruin the nice things for you. <laughs> I'm not sorry because I, this is truth be told. I have to tell you the truth. <laughs> I don't fucking like these people. Bitch, you make me hurl. All right, anyways, potential outcome, the tower. Why am I not surprised? It's shocking. It's revolting. It's just big wow energy. Wow. I had no idea you were like that. Wow. You are that. Hmm. Interesting. Just gross. You, you are that low vibrational. You are that ugly behind people's backs. You, you are. It's going to be a little upsetting to find out that some of the people... You thought were for you are actually your biggest fucking haters. Um, how's that song go? But let them hate and watch the money pile up or something. Yeah. There's there's something that's so nonchalant about, damn, that's what you really think of me? And just knowing, just knowing how much someone is not actually rooting for you, it makes it so much easier to walk away. Well, if you don't want me here, then... All of a sudden, I don't want to fucking be here. So bye. You should have said something sooner. Now I feel dumb for all the times I did come around. Like, you definitely didn't want me around. Why lie? You just wasted everybody's time. 
Just be honest. Be upfront. Be real. And some people really just cannot. They cannot. They're so addicted to the mask that some of them lose themselves and they don't even know what they actually want until they get it. And they're like, ooh, maybe I don't want that. But you weren't being real with yourself. So how the fuck are you supposed to be real with anybody else? Right? And it's not anybody else's fault but theirs. But you're the first person to recognize what's really going on here. So it's like you're stepping away from situations before they really explode or implode, for that matter. Um, Because some of these are definitely um, familial relationships. There could be children involved. Please be gentle on them. They're going to be more confused than anybody. They're going to have a lot of questions. Keep it age appropriate with the answers for fuck's sakes. Um, I don't think I have to tell you that. I think that's really something that you're hoping the rest of the parties involved are going to do. <sighs> Let's just manifest that that's how it goes because, yeah, for the children's sake, right? Also, um, if someone doesn't like you, they're not going to be decent with your children. Do not make me share all my fucking stories. Just listen to a woman that's been there. If they don't like you, they are not going to be respectful or um, appropriate around your children. They will absolutely see them as a weapon that can either be turned against you or just simply used against you, right? Let me hurt the children because that's another way to hurt you. It's just how it is, okay? So be mindful if there are children. Try your best to keep them out of this. Sometimes it is better to be none the wiser. They don't always have to know the gruesome details, but they do need to be protected. And I really feel like for a lot of you guys, you are the children. And the universe is the adult stepping in to protect you, which is why you're getting the information now that you're getting about needing to step away from certain places and people and just not have anything to do with it. Okay. Anyways, I'm going to leave it here. I hope this helps who it needs to, how it needs to. I love yous. And I will see you in the next one. Until then, mwah, stay beautiful.